Hey guys, welcome back once again. We will we, we, we'll continue from this day, we continue still from the C sharp keywords. This part we will look at process. Um, a process component provide access to a process that is running on a computer. A process in the simple terms is a running app, a thread that is the basic unit to which the operating system allocates processor time. A thread can execute any part of the code of the process, including parts currently being executed by another thread. A process component is a useful tool for starting, stopping, and controlling and monitoring apps. You can use the process component to obtain a list of the processes that are running or you can start a new process. A process component is used to access system processes after a process component has been initialized. It can be used to obtain information about a running process. Such information includes the sets of threads, the loaded modules, i.e. DLL or executable files, and performance information such as the amount of memory that the process is running. This type implements the I disposable interface. When you have finished using the type, you should dispose it of either directly or indirectly. The dispose of the in of the type directly call call um, its dispose method in a try finally block. The dispose of indirectly uses a language construct such as using in C sharp or using in Visual Basic. For more information, see using an object that implements I disposable. So rather than just uh, talking too much, we will we will go ahead and create very simple stuff using our uh, the processes or system processes. Okay, so. Rather than just talking too much, this is what we do. So the first bit or the first example is what we do is what we check uh, the process and of the uh, process is under system dot diagnosis um, dot get um, process by name processes by name. And then inside uh, here we have process dot get current process dot process name. So here, uh, what we do is um, obviously we count it. Dot count. So if it's less than or equal to two, then we're just gonna start the same process again. So obviously, this is what we would do. So we say uh, uh, process dot start. So here we're just gonna start um, this up again, like two or three times. So we just pass in this the name of our app and we added the execu executables just to execute it. So here is fine. So we remove this bit here. Now we can say uh, um, new program Um, this will, well, I mean, we will just do something like this. We say display test. So here, we just create a method here. We just say display test. And we all we do is we just display a time, or like i.e. daytime, something like that. So, so we can say um, daytime. dot utc now dot to string
and we put a big R. Big R, and that's all we have for here for now. So what, what we do next is obviously I'm going to start the project to see if we get some uh, like some multiple process to run. So uh, as you can see, they, they run and they close. In this case, it will keep on flipping like that. So what I'm going to do, is quickly, <laughs> we should have a little problem here. But I'm just going to pause it and sort. OK, so um, what was if you haven't actually um f5 before you do you do so make sure you put a red line here before you f5 so now we f5 so as you can see we've got um We've got some instances or some, we've got like at least four created for now. So as you can see, this is how you can, you can start multiple apps or multiple instances of the app at the same time using the process.start. So we would go ahead and I mean do like a couple of examples. Okay, so the next bit of we use the process start info um, to open to op open a different window or a different process. So just stay tuned. And what I'm gonna do here is just remove this bit and just cancel this bit here, and we add a new method. So here we can say um, process start info. You just say start info. So we initialize it with, uh, we say we just open an Internet Explorer. So I explore, explore dot execute. So here we can say start info dot minimize. Uh, window style dot window style of minimize so um you can say the process dot start and we can say we put in the start info so um the start info dot argument so we can say www.google.com and process.start um, starting for so as you can see it's a pretty pretty simple stuff so we can say um in here we can okay so we've already got it so we can just pull a console dot read line here so just okay so before we go ahead i mean we're just gonna copy that the start argument and we're just gonna remove this bit here then we're gonna put the start argument here. So we're just gonna make it very simple. So what we, it does is just open the, so we can say, opening app. And we can say, app, 
opened so as as we can see it's not very very difficult stuff so what we just run it to see if we're able to open an internet explorer um with i mean google as a parameter so opening opened so well it, it was pretty quick but it takes some time at least a little bit time so as you can see we've got um, the internet explorer open with google as well so it's not very difficult stuff so i hope you you get this we we we'll go ahead with more videos in terms of learning a lot with the net framework and the c sharp so thanks for your time if you haven't subscribed to the to the channel um, please make sure you do subscribe to the channel and catch up later on the next video have a lovely day Bye.